Yesterday, I was in the middle of recording some videos where eventually my dad called me down and wanted to let me know that the Super Bowl was starting. And I knew it was today. I hadn't really watched any football at all this year because I'd been away over in New Zealand and Australia for the past couple months during like the majority of the football season. So I hadn't really watched any at all. And the thing with um, me and my family is when I was younger growing up from the ages of about like 10 to I'd say about 16 we usually like always kind of I'd at least come and watch like at least one football game like on Sunday a week just as a nice way to kind of like spend some time together and like I just used to like football I never played it because the high school that I went to didn't have football but the other high school did but so I just never played football but I always liked it I always liked to watch it and I liked the game and when I was kind of like in the middle of recording and stopped because like I just went down to see what was going on and like eat dinner and everything, I was kind of had some conflicting thoughts whether like, oh, should I actually like just keep recording videos because I was like scheduled to like, I kind of had it in my mind that I wanted to finish all these videos on Sunday or should I actually just like sit and take some time with my family and go watch the Super Bowl. And my mind being kind of the productivity side of my mind was like oh you said you're gonna get this done to get you you said you're gonna get this done today go get it done go finish it you only have five you've recorded two already go record five and then you can go watch the rest of the game but as I kind of took some time to think and started to reflect on what this time would not only like mean to me but also my family I came to the conclusion that bro just like I should just sit down and just spend some time with my family because one the Super Bowl only happens one time every year and two I hadn't been like actually sat down with my family watching like any football all year because I've been I've been away in like two different countries so I decided just to take the time and just sit back and take this time with my family and as I was kind of thinking this over this morning and just kind of reflecting on the time and everything yes i didn't like finish all my videos and stuff during that period of time but when i started to actually think about it this thing of watching the super bowl and watching football for me has been kind of just part of my normal life but as i'm starting to get older I'm kind of realized that that might be the like one of the only like the, one of the last times where I actually sit down and watch the Super Bowl with my parents or even a football game for that matter as I start start to get older and start to get busier with other things and more travel and then eventually move out and everything. So I kind of came to that conclusion that like man that might be the last full time that I sat like through that game and just like watched a, a Super Bowl with my parents. And it's kind of one of those things where while you do it and while you're in those moments and you've, you just kind of get accustomed to the routine, you're like, oh, yeah, I, I'm just used to this. But when you start to think about it, like these things aren't going to be around forever. And these things that are important in your life in a couple years or like very soon before you know it, they're going to be gone and you're never going to get a chance to do them again. And I think in self-improvement and kind of the productivity work really hard mindset, we often get caught up in wanting to be 100% focused on what we're doing and making sacrifices, which in turn, sometimes that's a very good thing. The majority of the time, it's a good thing. I'd be 100% fine if you tell me, oh yeah, I sacrifice going and partying with all the people at my school to spend time focusing on my fitness. Like in my opinion, that's a really good sacrifice. But there are things in life and there are moments where you really need to take some time and just slow down and appreciate them because before you know it, like I said, they're going to be gone. You don't have forever. For me, with this thing, with watching the Super Bowl for my parents, like with my parents, it's been something that I've just done for like since I was a kid, like nine, 10 years old. So in my mind, it's just like, yeah, I do that every year. But as things start to go on, people aren't around forever people move away like things happen in life and you got to be willing to kind of take some time and think about that and prioritize the things where you won't get the chance to do them again especially if you're in high school be conscious about the amount of time that you spend with your good friends because once high school is done everything changes as much as people will say like oh yeah i'll be in contact and things won't change that much people are going to go to way uh, go to, away to university you're going to have different stuff you're doing people are going to move around and things will never be the same and so you need to value those relationships and prioritize at least a little bit of time every single week to be present with those people because at the end of the day and when 
everything's all said and done and you're on your deathbed, I'm sure the time that you're going to regret isn't that, oh, I wish I would have spent one more hour every single week working on my business. If you have the mindset, which I'm guessing you do if you're watching like this channel and a video like this, if you're being productive majority of the time, you just need to kind of take that step back and realize like, man, I don't have forever. I don't always, I'm not always going to have the chance to spend time with my parents or my family or these friends at this point in my life. And you need to be present in those moments. A hundred percent sure. I'm not, I'm not advocating for just like, oh yeah, just procrastinate on your work. But there's going to be periods of time where kind of you have to let that work slip and just like take a little bit of time away from it to be present with the things that matter. Because like I said, when it's all said and done, what are the moments that you're going to look back and be like, man, I wish I would have just did this a little bit more because we're all going to have them. You're always going to have kind of like regrets and things like, oh, I wish I would have did this. So for you, is it going to be, oh, yeah, I wish I just would have spent like an extra couple hours every single week so I can make a couple extra thousand dollars a month when you're already making a bunch of money? Or is it going to be those moments spent sitting with your family, being present, laughing with your friends and just enjoying life which moments do you think that you're going to wish you had more of it's completely up to you and that's your decision but i know which ones i will and i just want to make sure i live my life according to those principles and just remember to be present because as much as you may think and as much as it may seem we're not going to be around forever now with that being said if you don't know already my name is colby wallace i'm an 18 year old artist from canada and if you like videos like this and want to see more of my original music and also a lot of the cool stuff that i have coming soon you might as well subscribe i'm not sure what you're waiting for it's a win for you and it's a win for me if you also if you struggle with being addicted to your phone and want to learn how to quit i have a free community that you can join linked in the description Crawl, uh, fuck scroll down and click the top link in the description my original music is also linked in the description and with that being said never stop creating my friend and i'll see you in the next one goodbye